Two at six, two cities are joining forces to push back against the plan to create tolls on I-205. Bonnie Silkman is joining us now in the studio with a message from the mayors of two cities. Good morning. That's right. Good morning. Yeah, in a word, these mayors are frustrated. Both mayors saying that their city's questions to ODOT about this tolling project have gone unanswered for years. And they say they can't get on board with this plan until they get the information that they're asking for. Under the plan, drivers crossing the I-205 bridges over the Tualatin River and the Willamette River would have to pay tolls. It would be all electronic with cars still moving at highway speeds. ODOT says that the money raised for this would go toward other traffic improvement projects. But city leaders wish that that money would fund local projects. And they're concerned that people in West Lynn and in Oregon City will be feeling the brunt of this change. Everybody is going to be affected by this. I mean, unfortunately, the, the biggest impact that is going to happen with this program is going to fall squarely on the backs of the communities of Westland and Oregon City. I think uh, the, the key is that we're frustrated with ODOT. They seem to be ignoring cities and our comments about mitigation and things like that. Uh, and I have not been able to find a single instance where something has changed in the tolling plan as a result of local government comments. So right there, you just heard from West Lynn Mayor Rory Bielostotsky and Oregon City Mayor Denise McGriff, both at a meeting, a packed meeting about this issue last night, where local leaders also spoke about possibly creating a coalition involving more cities to work on solutions. They spoke about bringing in Gladstone, Milwaukee, and Canby. Local leaders also discussed taking possible legal action. Now, under this current plan, tolling would begin as early as next year. Kim and Shauna, back to you. All right, Bonnie, thank you.